Hey guys, welcome back to another video. Today we are going to be reacting to Walton Files. <laughs> so I've never watched Walton Files before and I have no clue what it's about. All I know is that it's inspired by FNAF, but that's kind of it. I know absolutely nothing about the VHS tapes. I don't know anything about them, so yeah. Good stream. Also guys, I am absolutely brain dead right now. I have no clue on what to upload. I might as well start uploading Skippy Toilet at this point because I don't have no clue like what I should be uploading right now. So if any of you guys have any suggestions, leave a comment down below of what you want me to upload because again, I, I have no clue what to upload right now. So yeah guys, um, there's like a, a bunch of like different videos made by the creator, but um, like the first one, this is like the first one, so I'm gonna watch this one because it's called Walton Files 1 Community Introduction Introductory Tape. So, uh, yeah, we're gonna be watching this. So, yeah, let's watch Community. I keep messing it up. C Company Introductory Tape. Let me break it down for you, Mark. All right. Okay. Uh, it's a rabbit. I think his name is Bon, I'm not really sure. Apparently, the Walton Files has like a very FNAF style to it. There's like a William Afton and Henry Emily version of the characters or something. I don't know. I I, I honestly don't know. Hi, Bunny Smiles Incorporated. Incorporated. Technical support. Job at Bunny Smiles Incorporated. You have applied to a job in technical support and maintenance. That's what nice. What does this job particularly mean? It means that you, amongst other employees, are the Ooh, ones who it's like, it's like FNAF 6. Fun experience for Bond's burgers. Oh, that's like the FNAF 1 thing. That looks like a Chuck E. Cheese animatronic. Yeah, these look like Chuck E. Cheese animatronics. Um... This looks weird. How are these made for children? That is not- Look how disturbing that bunny looks. How- How are these animatronics meant for kids? I guess they're like Chuck E. Cheese inspired, so... Uh, I mean like, Chuck E. Cheese has like creepy looking animatronics, so I guess it makes sense. Alright guys, I just realized, um, if the audio quality is bad, I'm sorry I forgot to plug my headphones in, let me just plug them in really fast. Alright, and we're back, so, let's get back to this video. Oh, this song. Everything seems pretty normal so far. And These never mind, stars. great. Bon, Shaw, Buzu, and Banny, a computer animated band Vanny? made by BSI to entertain children. As a technician, you'll be given the role of a facility caretaker. My name is you. Around this fun and magical journey, we will like work Eminem on certain for a tasks, such as cleaning protocols, robot right. maintenance and repair, and learning how to well, use BSI that, technology. Oh, that's so creepy. Oh, there's like a stitches on but the back. But first, here's a message from Jack Walton and Felix Kranken, our beloved... Oh, those are the characters! Which read, in BSI, the most important that looks really thing uncanny. to us isn't the money or the rating. The most important thing to us is that you have a wonderful experience while working with us. Okay. That being said, with the Bonds Burgers restaurant getting opened in a few weeks, mm -hmm. we're looking forward to achieving this dream with you. Hey, what a happy-looking bunny. Yeah, never mind, he's not happy. Facility caretaker. Okay, let me pause it really fast. Save, restore, secure. The BSI storage facility, also known as K9, is a company project to storage all valuable uh, valuable items from the closed for good Bonds Burgers restaurant. Given the situations about the incidents inside the 1974 Bonds Burgers location, any type of props, animatronics, and arcade machines will be carefully moved, inspected, and secured inside of a bunker located deep down in St. Ju Ju uh, Juana's Forest for Good. 
A facility caretaker will take care of, the, of securing the facility and keeping it safe and working pro properly. Wow, I butchered that really badly, but whatever, let's keep watching. Oh, group go in the dark. Pretty cool. Lots of static. I'm gonna stop yapping. What? What was he saying? I'm not sure what he said there, guys. I it was backwards. Sunlight Animation presents a Bunny Smiles Incorporated cartoon. Lil Bond's Neighborhood. Brighton 1979 Sunlight Animation. Alright. Ran by Sarah it's a Eleven. Whoops. Brand new day in Little Bond's neighborhood, and a really special one for sure. Little Bon has been waiting all day for his friends to arrive. He is planning to have a sleepover with them. He has everything set up for the perfect movie night with his friends. Okay. For this sleepover, he invited Shah, Boozoo, and Billy. Let's check again in case we don't okay. forget any guests. Billy bon does not look very Shah, and nice. Jack Walton? Ooh, spooky. I wonder if 27 is significant to anything. Oh, that must be them. Now that everyone has arrived, I suppose it's time for the movie night to begin. Alright. Bond spent all his money on a really funny movie, which he... What is it? That does not look very funny. And friends watched the movie. I guess right. we can say they had a blast but... of a time. Okay, there's... I forgot their names already. What? There... So there's Boozoo and Billy, I'm pretty sure it's their names. I forgot the name of the sheep. There's Bond. He looks kind of goofy, not gonna lie. Looks like that guy from, uh... Never mind, I forgot. Why is he so wide awake? What do you see? What is it? Ooh, FNAF sound effects. Yup, FNAF. It's pretty cool. FNAF 1. Let's see Jack Walton. What is this? Yeah, I don't know what I'm watching. It's like... He looks horribly dramatized. Jeez. A lighter. What do you need a lighter for? It's about how lights- Oh, the lights went out. What? What was that? So? Alright, they're driving in the woods. Brand new. This looks real. This doesn't look animated. Now I'm, uh, recording this because the company requires some type of archives for the work history. So the location at, seems to be kind of sketchy, right? And I can't find a place. I made it to the location. So the facility is like located like very far away in the middle of a forest. Anyways, so told me this place had been working since about 78, 79, somewhere right. around then, and that was four years ago, I think. So, chances are, it's gonna smell horrendous. Maybe there might be running corpses in the suits. Ooh, FNAF ambience, I love that. So, family photos. Yeah, that, that might be his family. Oh 
Jack wants his family. Oh, is that, that looks, is that Bond? He looks disgustingly creepy. He looks like one of the Withers. He looks like Withered Bonnie. Is that the animatronic speaking? No. I don't know. I'm confused. Why is the animatronic moving? He's like running tests. No, those are tests. I'm pretty sure. Whoa, I do not like that at all. I do not like that at all. That looks disgusting. Get that away from me. That's like nightmare fuel. Dang. Whoa. Did he get attacked by Bon? It's a pair of glowing eyes. Yeah, that's a pair of glowing eyes, all right. Oh my! Whoa! Did he get turned into the animatronic? Why is there a mask? What? What? Is that like a human? Or is that an animatron? I can't feel anything. He thought I was her. Wonder what that is. Okay, I don't like this. What was that? Oh. Hello, my name is Brian Stella. And I work as facility caretaker. Oh no, Brian Stells. My name hello, my name is Brian Stells and I work for Facility Caretaker. There's that has to be Jack Walton, right? That is not a good photo of him. Yeah, that's a very unflattering picture of him. And it's going white. Rewind. Wait, we're just getting back to the introductory tape? Oh no, these are these the credits? Alright, oh, yeah, it is. This is the credits. Yeah. Wow, not bad. Not bad at all. So guys, from what I've collected, it seems like Bond's Burgers was created by two dudes. One guy named Jack Walton, which is basically like the William Afton of uh, Bond's Burgers. And then there's the other guy, I forgot his name. But it seems like they created the um, Bond's Burgers together. And something must have happened because the place got shut down. And like there's a facility in the middle of a forest where some guy goes there to do something at the factory. I guess to run tests on the animatronics. And then something goes wrong, and then he runs out. Then I'm guessing Bond chases him out of the facility. I think he, like, kills him and then traps his body inside of himself. So the guy turns into Bond because Bond kills him, then his soul's trapped inside. That's what I'm guessing. And then at, at the end, that creepy, like, lady thing at the end, I don't know if that's an animatronic or a person. But it seems like that is also one of the workers that got killed by the animatronics that got turned into the animatronic. If, that, if I'm taking a guess. Guys, this seems like a good start to Walton Files. I'm not sure what order you watch the VHS tapes in. Because, uh, I'm just choosing by what I think is right. Uh, but there's probably like a playlist or something that'll probably tell me like which is which. Like which one to watch in order, like chronologically. But... 
yeah so yeah guys thank you guys for watching that was a very good vhs tape very disturbing um i'm very late to watching it and there was like a new one released a few weeks ago i forgot what it was called but it became pretty popular for a while so yeah guys hopefully i can make it to that one and hopefully i can keep doing this so yeah i really enjoyed reacting to this video because the last time i reacted to a video was like a few years ago with one of baddington's vhs tapes and that was a really good one i might return actually to react to his i uh, so yeah i might do some more reaction videos in the future so yeah thank you guys for watching make sure to leave like subscribe and i'll see you guys later goodbye